I'm Dr. Bobby Gastel, a gynecologic surgeon at the Mayo Clinic, and we're here today to talk about hysterectomy. It has often meant two, three, or four nights in the hospital, and sometimes a delay in returning to work in full function in the range of a month, month and a half, or more. The new option, using a minimally invasive approach to surgery guided by robotics, has allowed surgeons to perform very precisely the surgery the woman requires, while still providing for the patient an opportunity for a shorter hospitalization, faster recovery, and a faster return to her lifestyle. Robotic surgery translates a surgeon's movement directly from the surgeon's hand to what happens inside the patient body, but takes techniques that formerly required large incisions and allows them to happen through a series of four or five little incisions, each one no larger than an inch. For the patient, that means high quality surgery, excellent outcomes, low complication rates, and a very acceptable cosmetic result. With this video, you see some of the outside movements that occur with the robotic hysterectomy. What's harder to appreciate is the small movements going on at the far end of these functional arms that allow that very precise, fine movement to accomplish high quality surgery. Many people think of the important part of a hysterectomy being removal of the uterus. But for me, one of the most important parts is recreating that pelvic support so the woman has the best possible future pelvic health. I have patients who wake up from this surgery and who say, I don't have pain. I have patients who say they needed narcotic pain medicine for one or two days and after that only Tylenol. I have patients who tell me that they were grocery shopping, moving around and really well re-engaged in their life in the week following surgery. It's a dramatic difference from the surgery that we did in the past. There is a long tradition of excellence in the Mayo hysterectomy. The robot has allowed us to bring all of that tradition forward, offering it to women in a new way with tiny incisions and still achieving the excellent results that Mayo Clinic is known for.